Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to change the tempo and time signature in a logic project. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I've already had to change the time signatures in the project already. So we started off in 4 4, then moved to 3 4, then 7 4, and then 5 4 at the end. So let's have a little listen. Here's the 3 4 change. Here's the 7 4 change. And here's the 5 4 change. So let's have a little look at how I managed to change the time signatures in the arrange page in Logic. So the first thing you need to do is open up the global tracks. You do that by pressing G on the piano keyboard or just clicking the little triangle at the top left where the global tracks are. And as you can see, there's a few different ones. There's marker, video, signature, chord, transposition, tempo. If you go to view, configure global tracks, we can get rid of the ones we don't want. So we'll get rid of marker, video, uh, chord, transposition. So we're just left with the tempo and the time signature. And then if you click on those triangles there, you'll see that there are different grid spacings and at different points you can enter different time signatures. So just by double clicking at these points on the grid at the certain bar numbers, you can change the time signature. Just use your pencil tool to add new ones in and then from that point until you tell it otherwise it'll change the time signature and you can change the divisions just by adding in the numbers there so we've added an eight, uh, a 6 8 section from bar 29 onwards now just because the tempo and the time signatures have been changed in the global tracks doesn't mean that your music within inside the MIDI regions will automatically be adapted to that new time signature. If you've written it in 5.4, it will still play in 5.4 in the MIDI region itself. So you need to go in and, and change the parts or write the parts to fit the time signature or play them in in that way. So now that we've got the tempo, uh, sorry, the time signatures changes correct, we're just going to add some tempo changes as well to make the music a bit more sort of dynamic and interesting. So you need to make sure again that on your tempo uh, track there, you click in some what's known as nodes, there's a little dot, and you can move them with the hand tool and just drag them up to change the tempo. We're going to change that to 140, uh, 145 BPM. We'll take this one down to around 100 BPM. And make sure that they snap on at the right place. So make sure that they line up with the bars. You don't want any to uh, start late or early. Because that will affect the kind of groove of your piece. It's very important to, to zoom in and, and check that your nodes are positioned perfectly in line with the grid. So we'll change that last section up to 100 and 65 BPM. I want to take that last one down 100 BPM to 65. And we'll just draw in one more node there. And put that back up to 165. And at the top right there, there's a tiny node where you can actually curve the tempo line. So in this case, we're going to get the, the last section of the track to get slower and slower and slower until that final cymbal crash and the arrange page will just play along with that nicely. So let's have a listen to this now.
Okay, so that was pretty good, but we're going to make that slowdown more pronounced. So we'll make it slow down even quicker so those last few beats feel really sluggish and it creates that sense of everything winding down. So we're just going to grab that node and pull it down more so the line uh, is less curved really and more of a straight slope. <laughs> So that's much better. So by changing the tempos and the time signature, we can add more variation and spice to the music. So let's have a listen to all of that again from the beginning with all the changes in there. So there you have it, that's how you add tempo changes and time signature changes to your range page in Logic. <laughs> 